What's up guys, Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on another brand new innovative home security camera which shoots 1080p video, supports night vision, it's completely wireless, weatherproof, solar powered and lots more. So this is the RioLink Argus 2 home security camera. Now I've not used the first generation RioLink Argus camera but from what I've read this second gen camera has the bells and whistles so I simply cannot wait to get this out, test it out and see what it's all about. I have not come across a wireless security camera system under $200 with this many features. Now the solar panel itself is waterproof, um, it's an optional extra and it's sold separately but again at a very reasonable price. It will give you non-stop uninterrupted power for your security camera for only $29.99. So today we will be testing this camera out fully to find out how good it really is. So without further ado, let's get it out of the box and see what it looks like. So this is what you get in the solar panel box. You've got an instruction manual on how to get set up. So you've got a mount here to fix this to the wall, um, but it also has an adjustable ball head. So you can get the best angle possible. This is also made completely from metal, which is definitely reassuring. Here are some screws and fixtures for the mount. And last but not least, the solar panel itself. So here it is people, a solar panel, tripod screw at the bottom quite a long cable with a micro USB connection at the end which is giving me a lot of ideas very nice indeed you've got a solar panel here this is waterproof weatherproof so you can use this in all weathers this will give you uninterrupted constant power to the security system and for the price this is going for it's definitely a no-brainer if you're gonna buy the camera you definitely should pick up the solar panel here it is people the Rio link Argus 2 show you what it says on the box 100% wire free starlight night vision weatherproof apps and push notification with sirens and alerts live view anywhere anytime so you can be watching your security camera from work solar powered or battery powered 1080p video at full hd um, smart pii sensor and two-way audio so a very feature-packed camera and this does work on both ios and android so let's get it out of the box so this is everything you get in the camera box beginning with an instruction manual You've got a mount here similar to the other one. It's made out of metal and you've got a, an adjustable head so you can adjust to the correct angle and you've got a tripod screw at the top. You've got a bunch of screws and fixtures so you can fix this mount to the wall. You've got some sort of strap here. This also comes with a micro USB charging cable. A battery. So here is your rechargeable battery for the camera. And if we have a look at the details, it says 5,200 milliamps. Um, that is quite a bit of power there. It's nearly double than what you see in the latest mobile phones. So quite a decent battery there. And last but not least, the camera itself. So here it is, people. And it looks absolutely amazing, to be honest. So on the camera itself, on the back, you have your battery slot. So the battery will basically, I'm not going to connect it yet, but the battery will just slot in there. On the back of the battery, you will notice there is a micro USB charging port. So you can charge the battery up. Now, on the side over here, if we remove this, over here you have a micro SD card slot and a reset hole and on the other side there is nothing on the top there is nothing um, and on the front of the camera you have your lens 130 degree wide angle lens um, you've got your PIR and infrared sensors this camera also has a built-in microphone and speaker so you can do two-way calls now here's the amazing part you've got a powerful magnetic connection here so you've got a base which can be screwed onto the wall and and this just fix on like a magnet and you can have this set up into any angle you like if we take off the magnet you can see there is also a tripod screw at the bottom so that's where you would use this to screw it on and then you can mount this to the wall or you can use it as a stand so you have a lot of options in how you want to use this camera you can just have this as a desktop camera if you like um, or you can have it wall mounted so i like the flexibility this also comes with this waterproof rubber silicon material which goes over the camera once you get it hooked up. So I will get this set up. So what I'm gonna do is connect the battery up and as soon as I do that, you're gonna hear instructions on how to get set up. Camera has been started up. Please run RioLink app, add the camera and set it up. So the first thing you need to do is download the RioLink app and to do that, open the instruction manual. You can see the QR codes, scan the relevant one. So for me, it's gonna be Android. So if I scan the Android QR code, click browse, and it will show you which app you need. 
So that's the name of the app and the logo. This is the app you need for this camera and install it. So the app has now been installed. Let's open it up and see how easy it is to install. So we're going to add a device. So it's asking me to scan the base of the camera. So let's have a look at the base. There's a QR code at the base of the camera. We need to scan that now. There you go. Now the device will be added. It's asking me connect to Wi-Fi, connect to a real link base or access the camera directly. I'm going to connect to Wi-Fi because we haven't set it up before. It's asking me, have I heard the voice prompt? Yes, I've heard it. Now put my Wi-Fi password in, which I'm about to do. Okay, scan the QR code. So we need to scan this QR code with the actual camera. Scan succeeded. Device connecting to your router. Please wait. That is it. Succeeded. Wow, that was very, very nice. To the to so connection succeeded. Welcome to Real Link. I just click on the blue icon. I heard the succeeded connecting to your device. So now you have the option to create a password, naming your camera. I'll name the camera. I haven't put a password in. So here we are, people. It says there, Chig's office. PIR is on. If we first of all click on settings, these are the options you have. Device name, share, you can turn on push notifications, which I have. Um, you've got your network status. So we've got display here. If we click on display, it will give you a live display of what's going on right now. You can also change the positioning of the date, the time. You can rotate the camera, you can flip it and mirror. And you've got more anti-flicker options over here. If we go back, here's the quality option. So the resolution is currently on 1080p, but you can drop down to 720 frame rate can be adjusted to maximum of 15 frames per second and i believe that would be the same yeah so that's the same on both 720 and 1080p the maximum bit rate can be adjusted i'll leave everything default you got the sound option there it says sd card not detected because i have not put an sd card in um, you've got the pir sensor on and off options i've got it off at the moment but i will show you that working in a bit and then you've got your password options, infrared light, status LED. You can set up a notification to be sent to an email address as well if you like. Auto upgrade is telling me it's the latest version. System info, if we click on battery, it will tell you how much battery is left. And it will tell you how long the battery has lasted as well, which is quite neat. If we go back and then finally you've got date and time and delete the device. So those were all your options. Let's see what the quality looks like. So here is the camera, it says Chig's office, all you do is click on that. So we are now connected to this camera live. If I just pick it up, you will see in real time everything that's going on. Put something colourful on the table so you can see the quality. So you can see the Fire TV box there. Yeah, the quality does look really nice. So the options you have at the bottom are pause, so you can just pause the live feed. You've got a photo icon which will allow you to take photos, so if I tap on it, a photo is taken instantly. Okay, same way for videos, if you tap on it, you are now recording videos. You've got the timer there at the top and everything you do will now be recorded, as you can see. I'll just leave that camera there for now, stop recording and we'll see the quality in a bit. Now over here you can change the resolution quality. The next option is to select the color so you can have it black and white which is obviously the infrared night vision or you can have it on auto i'll leave it on auto and then you've got full screen option as well and that's how it looks full screen so pretty good quality here 1080p does look very crisp does look very nice all right so now we're going to test out the two-way audio all you do is tap to talk so now we're doing an audio test so now we're doing and we're going to see how this sounds. So let's check out the quality of the video sample we took a little bit earlier. So here they are. If we just choose the last one. You are now recording videos. Got the timer there at the top. And everything you do will now be recorded. As you can see, I'll just leave that camera there. So now I'm going to test PIR function out. So let's turn PIR on. That's the motion detection. So PIR function is on. We have got a live feed going on. So I'll do some motion. And there you go. So this is the notification you will receive when your camera gets triggered. 
So here are the PIR options. You can send an email, camera siren, and record the video. And you can adjust the sensitivity of the camera as well. So let's just press save and go back. So here's a live feed. I'm gonna activate the camera by just giving some movement. And you saw how instant that was. It says an alarm has been triggered from Chiggs's office. So you could have multiple cameras set up with different names and it will tell you which camera got triggered. So you saw how instant that was. And any motion that gets recorded will be saved onto the memory card. And to view those recordings, you just hit the playback icon and with the dates and times, you will have all your triggered events. So if we just click on the last one, there you go, you see my hand come forward. It actually started recording a split second before my hand even reached there. That is how sensitive it was. So you can adjust the sensitivity, but I think it works very well. So this camera has automatic night vision. As soon as the camera light drops below a certain level, the infrareds will turn on and this is the type of image you will get. You will get a black and white image, um, but you'll be able to see everything. Now the camera is in a different place. It's not in this room right now because I wanted to give you a demonstration of the night vision. Now I'm going to turn the light on near the camera and you will see what happens. You see that? Automatically we've got color. So as you can see, the night vision works very well and you can see very clearly in pitch black darkness. So here is the solar panel. I just want to connect it up very briefly to show you how easy it is to set up. It's simple as that. You connect this up, you've got a very long extension cable in the middle and this will give you uninterrupted power to this camera. So I really do like the solar power concept here. If you need an outdoor security camera, this is as simple as it gets. So I want to quickly show you how this looks with the waterproof silicon case on. So you remove the stand and just pop this in quite easily. It just slips into place. A very nice silicon case. Pop that back on the stand and away you go. The skin is designed to give you an even better waterproof protection if you're going to install this outside. So there you have it guys. That was the Rio Link Argus 2. So let's break it down with some pros and cons. Now to sum this one up, this is without a doubt the best wireless HD security camera I have reviewed so far. You have a 1080p video resolution, super easy to set up and use, two-way talking, automatic infrared night vision, which allows you to see in total darkness up to 33 feet. Motion detection, waterproof, weatherproof, and the most amazing feature, you can view the camera live from anywhere in the world. So you could be at work or on holiday and you can access the camera from your smartphone instantly. I tried very hard to find a con for this product. Even the pricing is very reasonable, including the optional extra for the solar panel. Bottom line, I am super impressed with the Reolink Argus 2. Now this is what I call the bells and whistles of wireless home security. If you're looking for an indoor home security camera, then this is the best I have tested so far. Now the same company have told me that they are going to release a brand new product in late April called the Reolink Go. It will do everything this camera does, but will function without Wi-Fi and will support 4G LTE. So I look forward to covering the new camera on the channel very soon, so stay tuned for that one. Meanwhile, with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. And if you like it, you can of course go ahead and pick one up for yourselves. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this camera. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.